We are your area news team. In Tinnahall, the police department have a new program going on where they're giving out bumper stickers to help law enforcement and first responders identify disabled individuals, those with hearing problems, and special needs. Chief Jeremy Pope can be seen placing a sticker on a car for one man with hearing problems. Now tell us, uh, Chief Pope, how did this program get started? Well, this program was started uh, between me and uh, Captain Hudnall here. We, we wanted to come up with an idea that we could give back to the community that would help save lives. Unfortunately, we couldn't take credit for it. Another county has already uh, started this program and it worked good for them. But it was such an amazing program and, and we wanted to do that here. Um, the, the problem we ran into is funding on such a small department with a small budget. And so we partnered with some of our community leaders and business owners here in the county and I contacted uh, San Hill Record Service, Mr. Larry Joe Eves, and, and began to explain the program to him. Uh, I didn't even get to, to finish it before he, he stepped up and said, you know what, I'll, I'll fund the program for you. And uh, what it is is these stickers here uh, represent different things. They, they uh, represent someone uh, with, who may be deaf or hard of hearing, autism or special needs, diabetic, or Alzheimer's or dementia. And, and these, these bumper stickers here help first responders identify uh, possibly what's going on. Someone with a diabetic uh, episode may not be intoxicated on some type of narcotic and it helps first responders know how to uh, come in contact with that individual and, and assist them in the needs that we could. Mr. Clarence Cheshire, a hearing impaired individual, was very grateful for the program. I'm a Clarence Cheshire. I'm born deaf, but uh, I'm a speaking, my speech not for a while, and um, that's why I need my deaf sticker that will come to know who I am. Now, tell us how you got involved with Chief Pope on this program. Well, I specifically got involved in the program. I moved from Chicago to Tenaha, and it's been quite an adjustment for myself and my fifth grader. Uh, my son is a special needs child, and um, he's been going through some serious bullying at the school that he attends. So I was able to reach out to the chief of police because uh, a counselor referred me to him. And he has been instrumental in just helping me with this whole bullying situation and being a mentor as well to my son during this very difficult time that I never thought I'd encounter. Captain Joey Hudnall told us more about the program. Well, Justin, just like the chief explained, um, officers are, are trained to key in on certain things uh, when they're investigating uh, during a traffic stop or uh, at a residence. Um, some of those signs that, that these people are, are, are giving to officers could represent somebody that might be on an illegal narcotic or alcohol or, or different substances. Uh, by having these on the vehicle, it alert the officer, uh, letting them know that they might need to handle this situation in a different way and make it safer for the officer and the people in the vehicle or in the home. This is the sample that you'll see. I'm going to be contacting the administrators with the hospitals, uh, all of our fire chiefs, and let them know that we have these. Uh, the individuals can, can identify with and look and see which sticker they need that would, that would help their need. Um, places like Gaddy's Medical, who deals with a lot of our elderly, um, get up with uh, them to see if they would display this there so that they can contact law enforcement or maybe even put them on their countertops to be able to get them from there. The, the pamphlets here on the board, which is, is this two-sided, each officer has this in their patrol vehicle in case they encounter someone who is deaf or hard of hearing that may be able to communicate with them by, by pictures. Um, one of the big ones here to me is the Alzheimer's and the dementia. We have a lot of alerts and a lot of individuals that, that, that come up uh, that, are, that are missing, that have drove off, uh, their loved ones don't know where they're at. If law enforcement sees this sticker on their car, as law enforcement would do, um, they're going to read this, immediately run the plate, and they could locate someone's loved one by just this sticker alone. 
a great thing to do, a great tool to have, and these can go on your, your screen doors at home or your vehicles. The Tenahaw Police Department helping to bring the community together. With Center Broadcasting Company, this has been Justin Mott reporting from Tenahaw. CBC-radio.com, keeping you connected wherever you go.